If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Node.js, why you should be using it, why it's interesting, and what Red Hat is doing in the Node.js ecosystem, then you've come to the right place. Node.js is a runtime that lets you run JavaScript outside the browser. We've all used JavaScript in the browser as it's, it's part of almost every web application that's out there. But Node.js unlocks the ability to run JavaScript both on the front and the back end using the same language across the full, uh, full application. This leads to some great productivity benefits and along with the, the, the great performance that you can get in certain, certain situations uh, has really led to its popularity and growth over the last few years. If we look at a little bit of the data that's out there, we can see from, from GitHub that JavaScript has been and is the, you know, one of the most used languages in terms of the, the, the repositories that are out there. And if we also look at the module ecosystems, we can see that the NPM ecosystem, which is where modules for Node.js are published, is one of the fastest growing and has the, the largest number of modules. So there's a great ecosystem of modules and code that you can reuse. Again, leave, you know, leading to great productivity for your development teams. I mentioned performance. Uh, you know, this is one of the reasons that people are interested in Node in that it is performant in a number of the different way, the ways that matters today, especially for cloud native deployments. It's small. Um, you know, very small download and even uncompressed size. It's got fast startup and small footprint, all things that you want to do if you're going to be deploying applications and say microservice type uh, uh, deployments and to the cloud. It also delivers at the same time great performance in that it's an event loop based approach can deliver things like 10,000 concurrent connections where, uh, you know, runtimes with a threaded based module would have a really hard time or struggle to, to be able to, to manage that kind of scalability. At the same time, you get, you know, team, development teams have found that they get great uh, productivity increases by moving to Node. And that's one of the reasons actually that we think, you know, uh, as a new language or a new entrant, it's, it's gained so much popularity. Uh, people report that you get, you know, faster development with less code. Uh, there's a study from quite a few years ago that PayPal reported that, you know, they, they coded the same application um, in, in Node and in Java, and they ended up with, you know, taking half the time with less people and 33% fewer lines of code. And, and less code means less code to maintain. So that's one of the, the, the great things that sort of keeps on paying you back afterwards. And, you know, this is a good example here of, you know, in four lines of code, we have a fully working web server, uh, hello world, but it's, it's, you know, not a lot of code. I can write, write this into a file, uh, start it up under node, and, and basically I'm already serving responses with very little work. Because uh, uh, you know the, the attributes that I've talked about, Node.js has, has found use in a lot of different applications, in a lot of different use cases. This is the list of use cases that the Community Benchmarking Working Group put together a while back, and you can see that it ranges from you know backend services, microservices, all the way down to you know running in, in, in embedded systems, IoT type systems, and I just added a few of my own. You know, there, there's uh, support for using. Uh, node with uh, machine learning through things like TensorFlow.js, and you can even do integration and graphical type programming through things like Node-RED. So really, uh, you know, uh, Node has found its way into a large number of different use cases, uh, you know, from running scripts to running the, the backend services that, you know, you're relying on. I also want to make it clear that you know Node has uh, its use and is used in very large applications. One of the applications that's uh, operated by our partner IBM is Weather Weather.com. I think I, I think this is a great Node success story. It's a large application serving weather all the way across the world, so it's internationalized. It serves more than 60 languages in 230 locales, and it's a large Node application deployed to to, to Kubernetes. Uh, across four regions, seven clusters, 400 worker nodes, and dozens of services, all running on a you know a cloud infrastructure. So again, you know this is a, an example where Node um, is running at scale. We also see this in a, in a lot of um, you know other companies out in the ecosystem. Now. Uh, Red Hat is involved in a number of different aspects of the, the Node ecosystem. One is the community. We're very much involved in helping to build the Node runtime itself. We have uh, four people on the technical steering committee. We're involved in a good number of the working groups. 
And our focus is really on enterprise, the enterprise requirements. So what we believe is important to our customers and people who are running those applications at scale. So, uh, you know, working to uh, make sure that we have stable and predictable releases. We have uh, Bethany Griggs, who's a member and helping to lead the release team doing releases and helping to manage those schedules. We have work, so think people like Jarish Punatel in the diagnostics working group to help improve our diagnostics. And if you see node report, uh, currently called, um, I think just diagnostic report when we pulled it into core, that's something that we helped get in and, you know, I think it is, and was a very good addition. Uh, we also focus on things like security and performance, as well as internationalization and the general code quality and safety net so that those, the releases come out with a, a good level of code quality. In addition to working in the community, we also work on making sure that Node runs well and is well supported in uh, Red Hat platforms like Red Hat Enterprise Linux, where we deliver containers, both uh, in, in RHEL, RHEL containers and UBI containers, um, so that you can get and use uh, Node.js in uh, su supported environments, um, as well as OpenShift, where we work to, to, to create modules like Node Shift, which will let you very easily deploy your Node applications to an OpenShift, OpenShift environment. We're also working on something we're calling the reference architecture, a very, you know, fairly early stage. Um, but this is to help answer, to answer questions we get quite often um, around, you know, what modules, what components should we be using in our, in our node deployments? Now, there's lots of opinions on that. We're not trying to tell anybody what they should use, but more and more, both internally and from our customers, we get the question of like, hey, what do you think we should be using? And we're just trying to answer that in terms of, what we would start with based on the experience and those large deployments like the weather company uh, that I mentioned in terms of, of you know, what's out there. Uh, so, you know, if you go to the NodeShift uh, website, you can get uh, sort of more information about some of that, as well as to the GitHub repo where you'll find the modules like uh, NodeShift that I talked about, things like Cube Probe, which is uh, um, a module for health monitoring, things like Opossum, which is a module to help do circuit breaking and you know, other components that, that uh, may make up a part of that, that reference architecture. So I'm hoping that this, this is, is basically uh, you know, made you, given you enough insight and interest that you're now gonna wanna dive more into you know, the resources that we have available in terms of, of Node and getting to know what Node is and how, how you can use it to, to solve your business problems as well as what we're doing in the community and um, as well as, you know, in, in the Node community itself, as well as um, within Red Hat in terms of the, the Node Shift project. Um, and so I invite you to come and explore the resources that, that we're making available uh, through this landing page. And we hope to talk to you and engage with you going forward to, you know, understand what, what kind of things you're looking for when you're deploying your Node applications and working towards making, you know, uh, our, our platform is the best place to deploy those applications. Thank you very much. Bye.